Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Fonte over here on another video. In this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone SE on iOS 10.3.3 to an iPhone SE on iOS 12.1 Beta 3. So as always, guys, stay tuned. iOS 12.1 Beta 3, iOS 10.3.3. So as always, the SE is one of the best iPhones when it comes to putting up. So it was even faster, uh, at least on this channel, than the iPhone XS Max. And the difference was minimal to 10.3.3 was slightly faster. Right, guys, both phones here have nothing running in the background. I want to say, guys, that this phone has a perfect battery, though this has 87% uh, maximum battery capacity, guys. So uh, at the end, guys, I'm just going to be showing the milliamps, and that's it, and how much milliamps that each phone lose. So now, guys, going to start a test with calendar. That was actually faster than I was 12.1 beta 3. That was faster than I was 10 maps. By the same iOS 10 was slightly faster. Clock, slightly faster than iOS 12, good stuff. Weather, by the same iOS 12 was faster. Stocks, and that was faster than iOS 10 for sure. Phone dialer, animations were faster than iOS 12. Safari, and that goes to iOS 10. Next up, settings, definitely iOS 12. Going for App Store, and that goes to iOS. It was about the same, but I think iOS 12 was slightly faster. iTunes, and that was sadly faster than iOS 12. Now, guys, just gonna swap left. Both were super smooth here. Going for Geekbench 4, exactly the same. And do the benchmark, slightly faster than iOS 10. Instagram. Yeah, it seems the same, or I don't know, I guess, maybe iOS 10 was faster, but I mean, guys, there was a draw, seriously. Subway Surfers here. Okay, loading bar appeared first, iOS 10, and it was faster. Temperant 2. So just like always, games are super fast, faster than iOS 10, but... Guys, iOS 12 seems to be better than iOS 12.1 beta 3. At least seems to be better than previous iOS 12 versions. Mario Run 2. No, Mario Run, sorry. So GPU-wise, iOS 10 is faster than iOS 12. Definitely. Leaving, going for Google Earth. Faster than iOS 12, good stuff. Going for YouTube. And that goes to iOS 12. Next up, Jetpack Joyride. Just like always, the loading bar appears first in iOS 10, sadly. And difference was minimal. I mean, iOS 12 tried to catch up at the end. Yelp, better failed. And that seems pretty much identical. So when it comes to anything but games, it seems like iOS 12 is doing really good. Neck and neck with iOS 10. That's really nice. By the same eBay, going for Snapchat, exactly the same. Guys, going for some RAM management, so Snapchat, eBay, Jetpack Joyride, YouTube, Google Earth, both are still solid. Mario Run, Temperan 2, Subway Surfers, Instagram, ouch. Now Instagram had to refresh on both devices and to the benchmark, smooth. Geekbench 4, solid. iTunes, App Store, there's still no refresh in iOS 12 because it starts to do that with stock apps, which is now. Settings, iOS 12 is still doing good. Safari, iOS 12 is still solid, nice. Phone, iOS 12 is still doing good. I hope guys it won't refresh anything. Stocks, still no refreshes. Weather, still doing good. Clock. Please don't refresh. Great guys, iOS 12 is doing good. Camera, nice. And for the final app here, calendar. Ouch. Okay, so unfortunately iOS 12 had to refresh the very last app, which was calendar, though it kept everything else in the background. Now guys, going for a Geekbench 4 test. All right guys, so just like always, iOS 12 outchance iOS 10 when it comes to uh, Geekbench scores. So both multi and uh, multi-core and single core are actually better than iOS 12.1 beta 3 though that's just just the scores i mean in performance i think ios 10 was better now guys for the decisive part for battery life and to the benchmark so let's go
All right, guys, both phones are done here. Just want to say I'm super disappointed with battery life on iOS 12. Um, yeah, guys, this phone has a higher wear level. Scores are actually really good. I mean, both scores were actually perfect, especially on the A9 chip. I really love the scores. As you can see, guys, so it's about the same thing. The CPU was slightly fast, better on iOS 10. The GPU was about the same. UX was slightly better here. And the RAM is actually better on iOS 12. It doesn't make sense, though. Right guys, so I just did the math. Uh, this phone lost around 334 milliamps in the test, where this just lost 81. Lost 81. So guys, like this phone lost four times more battery if both have the same battery condition, which is really bad on iOS 12, to be honest. Just like the iPhone 6S, this, this version of iOS is really bad. iOS 12.1 beta 3 is really bad with battery life, though performance is actually right, getting guys, good. Have it. That was a comparison. Also, guys, at this phone, the one iOS 10.3.3 did lose way less battery, just 5% throughout the test. So I, I counted it, it was like 80 milliamps, where this one lost around 330, so four times more uh, battery lost on iOS 12.1 beta 3, just like the 6S, I mean, it was terrible. So uh, battery really is really bad on iOS 12.1 beta 3. Uh, CPU is getting good, really good, except for GPU sometimes. I mean, uh, some games are old games are actually faster than iOS 10, sadly. RAM management is almost as good, but still refreshes a couple of apps. So, if you guys like the video, subscribe for more content and peace out.